You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Here is a complete video of a maker set from start to finish. If you want to skip ahead to specific points in the video, then check the description below for skip times. Enjoy! Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and it's time for the Crispy Rice Bunny Kit. It's, uh, everything you needed except the butter. See, it includes everything, just add butter. Fun to make, great to eat, great family activity, and, uh, makes two crispy rice bunnies. And it's from Crafty Cooking Kits. Well, I don't know, that's just what's there. Let's take a look. If you want to read that information, just pause and enlarge there, because I want to get to the back. Here's everything that you have to do. Prepare, heat, shape, decorate. So caring for your bunny mold, hand wash with warm soapy water and dry thoroughly after use, not to be used in dishwasher or oven. So we actually get to keep the bunny mold. See, it's a 3D bunny mold. You're getting the Rice crispy cereal, the mini marshmallows, jelly beans, the 3D bunny mold, and icing pens, and you just add the butter. So we'll get into the directions in a little bit here. Let me uh, get the box open. And we'll just take a look at everything, lay it out here and get a better understanding what we have. Okay, so here is a bag of Rice Krispie Treats. Make an adjustment here. And then we have the two icing pens. We have brown and blue, a bag of marshmallows, the jelly beans, look at that. And then this bunny mold, which I need to wash. So I have a little prep here and got to get in something to heat my marshmallows and butter up with and then uh, we'll get going so we'll check right back I'm all ready to get started I brought in a bowl for the Rice Krispie Treats I have my burner off to the side we'll bring that in in just a second and then the paint uh, color icing and the jelly beans we don't need so I'll move them out of the way we'll need the Pam in a little bit because you're supposed to spray your mold and then the first thing really is getting the marshmallows and the butter and then you pour that into the bowl with the Rice Krispie Treat. So let me get this in here. And of course, I washed the bunny mold. As you can see, it's a nice size bunny mold. So let's do this. Just in case, I will read some of this for you. It gives me a way to recap, make sure I'm doing everything right, too. All right, so uh, make delicious spring-inspired crispy rice bunny treats. Gather your family around the kitchen and create your own sweet treats that everyone will want to eat. Best of all, the sweet memories will last long after the crispy rice bunny treats are gone. That's nice. Prepare. Adults wash bunny mold with warm soapy water and dry thoroughly. That's done. Kids, be sure to wash hands. Cooking can be messy work. You might want to wear a smock or apron. Pour crispy rice cereal into a large bowl. All right, let's do that, kids. Here we go. We'll cut that. That's why I read things out loud, because I can then get the steps down. Because I don't have another kit in the back or another backup kit, so this is it. This is all I have. All right, uh, heat. Adults, melt butter in a medium saucepan over low heat, add mini marshmallows, and continue to heat, stirring constantly until marshmallows are completely melted. Uh, pour over crispy rice cereal and stir well to coat. Make sure to be warm. Allow mixture to stand for five minutes to make shaping easier. All right, well, that's the next step. Now, I have a little smaller than a medium pan here, but let's just see if it's not too hot. Oh, that's good. And then the marshmallows. So let's get those out. This needs to be melted. And then we will add the marshmallows. Now I have it on low heat, so I'm going to leave it there just because it's butter and I don't want to burn it. I didn't think I needed a super large pan. It's not that many marshmallows, so we'll see how it works out. should be okay. And you have to move quick, really. So it says, let's stand for five minutes. In that time, I'm supposed to coat hands in the bunny mold with the cooking spray. So now I can get some marshmallows in here. It'll melt down. Yeah, it works good. I'm going to keep it on low for now. Might turn it up 
in a bit if it doesn't seem to be melting good, but otherwise I'm going to leave it. This is one mixture you don't want to burn. It's starting. All right, so let's see. Heat. Uh, stirring constantly until marshmallows are completely melted. Pour over crispy cereal and stir well to coat. Mixture will be warm. Allow mixture to stand for five minutes to make shaping easier. Okay, so that's what we got to get to. As you can see now, it's dropped probably a quarter of the size in here. So we're just going to keep going. And then for shaping part, let's see, coat hands in bunny molds with cooking spray, butter or margarine. Press half of rice crispy, of crispy rice mixture in the mold. You'll have enough left to make a second bunny. Oh, cool. Well, look, it's starting. Looking pretty good. And in adults, place hand over mixture inside the pan. Lift and flip mold on a clean, flat surface. Okay, so once it's done out of the mold, then you can flip it and then make the next one, so... Looking good. And I probably can go a little bit higher on the heat, which I might do now that it seems like everything's mixed well. We're going to go up just a little. Just above low, but keep mixing. This is the first time I've actually made stovetop Rice Krispie treats with you. We had the Rice Krispie treat maker and that was an actual maker, but it used a mix that went in there. That little extra heat seemed to turn it quickly there. See that? So we're not completely melted, but we're getting there. I still see some marshmallow chunks. Okay, I'd say that's real close. What I'm going to do now is do a quick change here because I want to get the hot plate out of the way. And then I'll move in the bowl and we'll do the next step. Okay, here we go. I am going to now pour in my mixture. And as you know, this is sticky and can be a little messy. Okay, let's get that out of the way. And now mix. I was said just mix well to coat and then let's stand for five minutes. think I think that looks pretty good does it look good to you nice and coated got most of it off the edges all the cereal on the bottom looks like it's in there looks like we're gonna be moving real quick here so I'm gonna let this stand a little bit while that's doing that then I need to get my mold in here okay so we'll spray that real quick all right, we'll hit it from that side. So we get all the edges that's sprayed. And then let's see, coat hands and bunny mold. Okay, so, so we're letting this stand for about five minutes. So what I'll do is I will check back in a little bit and we'll get started. I am back, I have a plate to put my first bunny on. So it says spray your hands and then coat your first bunny mold with half of the mixture. Ooh, this hand got more on it, so I'll spray this hand. I mean, I sprayed the left hand more. Get a little bit in this one ear, and I'll press it down really good. see from the other side looking good that was the ooh that's a mean sound that was scraping the plastic onto the countertop okay so 
and then I can flip that onto my plate. And I'll spray my hands again. Let's see. That came out good. Give it all another quick little spray. Let me get this hand a little better. Okay. Looks like there's going to be extra. So what do you think so far? I think it's a neat little kit. Simple. Yeah, there's going to be quite a bit. Maybe I can get a third. A little crispy on the bottom didn't get mixed, but we're going to run with this. There you go. Push it in. Let me grab another plate. I have another plate just off to the side here. Put my second one on. Oop, let me wipe that down. Okay. Clean up that one edge. A little extra. I think we can get a third one out of this. Now they are going to want to let it sit a little. It did say for decorating to let it sit. So I don't think we're going to get a full third one out of this, but let's see. Just so we know if you get this kit, maybe have an extra shape around so you have it. If you can get three, that would be nice. It's not going to be three full ones, but it looks like we'll have a, maybe we'll use this as our practice bunny. Let's see. Yeah, a little bit on this one foot. Maybe you can scrape that out. Anybody make this kit or get this kit? Would you like this kit? I'm sure there's going to be a lot of ideas about adding other stuff to your treats. Chocolate chips. I'm sure you could do a lot. Pretty cool stuff with Rice Krispie treats. There you go. Yep, much better. All right, so I'm going to wash up, clean up, and then let these sit just a little bit and come back and decorate them. Well, I am back, and uh, I was just checking my bunny. He seems to be holding his shape pretty good. And I need to get the jelly beans into the bowl so I can see what I have in colors because... Now, I'll just show you what they did on the front, and I will not uh, study that because I want to do my own thing. See that? So, creativity, entirely up to you. And then it said, cut off the ends of your frosting. Now, I'm not sure. This doesn't always come out that good. Let's just cut it. And let me put a little bit on my plastic here to see how it comes out. Not bad. And now the blue. Let me get us a little more. This is where we want to be. Because I think I really want to do... The eyes. Oh, my scissors. Not cutting too well. Let's see here. Okay, blue comes out really nice. So, let's see. I think uh, for the eyes, I really want to do... I was thinking black eyes, but nah. Let's do yellow bunny eyes. Mm, nah. Let's do red. Yes, red bunny eyes. So I'm going to put a little what I would call glue down here. So you won't see it, but we know it's there to hold these two down. Okay. And then I will paint in his ears because I like uh, blue. All right. Okay, how's that? And then, what's a bunny nose? Well, you want to do like this little mouth with a couple little lines or something. How's that? And then maybe a big bunny tooth. Okay. And I think I want to stick a couple, uh, one on each appendage here. There's little hands. I got lots of Let's see, I do have a lot of yellow, so, yellow, 
yellow. And then one on each little bunny foot here. All right. Oh, grabbed orange. Well, I'm going to grab orange anyway. Looks more colorful. And is there a bunny belly button? Or how about a bunny... Let's see, we'll do a bunny bow tie. I seem to always challenge myself by wanting to do a bow tie. How's that? How's that bunny bow tie? All right. And maybe we'll just do one big belly button. Oh, his cheeks. Let's give him some blue cheeks. Yeah, he needs blue cheeks. <laughs> and then would you trace out? I mean, you can uh, come in with the brown now. Maybe just trace out around his leg. Just to fill in, you know. To show the different textures there. Okay. Almost like it's giving him pants. I think I want to go on the outside of his bunny ears to really make him stand out. Now, I was able to, remember I made the three, so the one in the back left is the one that's in the worst, the smallest in regards to having the least amount of Rice Krispies. So, now that I've decorated my first bunny, let me just move that one in here so you can take a quick look at it. Maybe a little bit, this was the stuff on the bottom, so maybe a little bit more mixing, but I do want to take a piece of this because it does look... Tasty. See? Nice rice crispy. Mmm. Are rice crispies one of your favorites? See, that's what I meant. The third one is your snacking one while you're decorating. Alright. We'll do this one's ears in brown. Whoa. Here we go. If you hear me breathing, it's because I'm really close to the microphone. It's about three inches from my face. I kind of reversed what I did on the first one. I think we need some different eyes on this one. I'm not really sure how to do a bunny nose. Just a little dot, or... I'm going to have to peek at their box. Oh, I see. They put a jelly bean in the middle, and then two little, like, mustache lines. So it looks like this. I told myself I was not going to look at their... So they have the jelly bean here. Two lines coming down. Ooh, nice mustache. And then the blue comes out the best. I think I'm going to just do as much blue as I can tracing him. I'm almost out. Kind of outlining his belly. Actually, I wish I could just fill up his whole center section with blue, but here's what I'm going to do. Spot, 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 spot. For what? Jelly bean. Jelly bean. There. Right, I'm going to eat it. And then we'll do a little bit on each. Now let's give him a little chocolatey cheek. And 
And I have two of these nice blues. Ooh, don't fall. What do you think? I'm almost out of everything. I'm going to use up the rest of my chocolate here. And then use up the rest of my jelly beans. This one is super loaded. There you go. How's that? I think I do want to taste the frosting. So see, I'll bring my tasting bunny back. And let's see if we can squeeze a little bit of blue. Oh, just a little bit. And this... And I'm going to try it. A little bonus texture. You're biting into the Rice Krispie and you get the chewy jelly. Jelly bean. So what do you think about that? Hmm? I think it's fun. I think if you find it, I say give it a chance. Now, of course, there's, you know, a professional did that. If mine were on the box cover, they'd probably sell a lot less. But still, I had fun. And I'm going to eat it. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed that one. It is the Crispy Rice Bunny Kit. And if you want to see other Easter stuff and kits, check that description below for a playlist or search our channel. And I hope you enjoy all the Easter videos so far. And thanks for watching. Later. If you want to find this item, click the link in the description area below the video. You can also watch more videos in this series by clicking here. Thanks for watching. And always remember, if you see a lucky penny, pick it up.